Well, it's July 10, and we're gonna do a quick garden update. Um, it's been hot the last two days, I believe, and there hasn't been any rain in, for a long time, so 100% sprinkler out here. Uh, here's corn, four rows of corn. They all look pretty much the same. They look all right. But they were planted pretty late. So there's those four rows and then uh, the cabbages. So we got some early green cabbages, some late green cabbages. There's one and a half rows of green cabbage. There's four, four red cabbages. They're coming along all right. The heads are small. We had to put seven dust on them because they had some kind of uh, eggs on them. That back there is a row of tomatoes, same tomatoes as here. These are bush tomatoes and I'm trying, and actually there's uh, onions interspersed with them. These are um, bush tomatoes and I am trying a no cage, no, um, no Florida weave on those just to see what will happen. And so far pretty much they look like I had to clean them out because they were, they were way too bushy but they look okay. So we're gonna go right past a, a post here. Look down here, you can see the, uh, the cucumbers have come up nicely along the rows and they're gonna climb up the pole with some chicken wire. Um, tomatoes, we got quite a bit of fruit on. You can see here's a pretty good example. That one's a pretty heavy one. And then you can see right there, Look at that shot, pretty good amount in that one. Move down here. I believe this is a red zebra. And then you can see in, in that row, there, 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 just pretty much nonstop. Every plant there has set quite a bit of fruit. So the tomatoes are doing really well. Let's come over here. Uh, we got some that are a little bit of a strange, strange varieties for me. They kind of look interesting. Uh, most of mine are just cherry tomatoes, but um, you can see the, the Florida weave style uh, job we're doing with them, and really, it's it's a lot of defoliating below the very top really so you'll notice that there's not a lot of there's not a lot of leaf branches or suckers um, below pretty much where we're growing at so we want them to develop their their tomatoes and we want them to grow taller so taking out the low um, like the low um, leaves and the suckers that are low is a good way to accomplish that those those two goals here is the brussels sprouts um and i have a video from january or from J january from july 3rd of last year here comes sadie july 3rd of last year and july 3rd of this year and boy do these look a lot better than last year which we didn't get really any um we really didn't get any of them last year from the garden so hopefully they look not only better but maybe they'll actually work there's some beets. Oh, did you jump the fence? Naughty girl. That fence is there for animals wild and domestic. Step right in all the plants. Make sure the plants are well stepped in. Right, thank you. Hey, get out of here. Get out of here. We're trying to make a video. Come on, a what? A video. All right, so we replanted. Let me get you a close up here. There you see some more radish coming up. We'll bring you over here, a few more. And we'll bring you up, nauseating probably. And look at this row, woo, of radishes. They're looking really good. 
And I think Claire probably helped there. There's a few in a bunch. Hi, Sadie. It's a lot. Oh, lick the screen. Come on. You're standing in them. Out. Come on. Hey. Oh, she's destroying. Oh, she's just she just destroyed this whole area. Hey. Get out. Oh, she's destroying my. Ah, oh, it's it's okay. It's really no work to to set this up. All right. She's an animal. What are you gonna do? There's a few peppers hiding in there. These are jalapenos. Uh, more cherry tomatoes. As you can see, these are super sweet 100s. Putting out quite a bit. And then those are early cascades. Whatever that means. <clears throat> Look at these ones. Check these out. Sadie. Look at them. Those are looking nice. I can't remember which one they are. They're, they're a Brad's Atomic Grape, I think. That branch needs to be cut off. But, uh, yeah. I want the sun, you want the sun to hit the fruit. That's what I, that's what the goal for me is. Oh, Sadie, good girl jumping out. They like to eat the compost. Hey, 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 hey. There's pumpkins in there. Naughty girl. Each one of those mounds, as I said last week, has pumpkins planted. Oh, nice. Uh, this is a PG-13 video now, unfortunately. Darn it. Uh, let's see here. Some more tomatoes with quite a bit of fruit on them. Now you see, you see that plant right there? That's a good example of what I'm after. Let's see if I can get in there. That one has fruit there, another branch there, and then that's a branch just of uh, flowers, and there's another flower branch. And you can see that there's only that, that branch for um, leaves and then the top where, where it's growing. That's really it. There's, there's, <laughs> That plant is exactly what I want it to do. And so it's only choice to make more um, leaf branches is, um, well, to grow taller. So, and then when it does that, it puts out flower branches too. And honestly, they don't need that many branches for sunlight. They grow the bottom ones because they're short. And as they get taller, you know, and I keep the suckers down. So, you know, a normal plant, let me, let me pan you over 180. This, this is what they look like when you cut all their suckers off and you just make them do a main stem. And then this one here has a main stem and two suckers, okay? That one there is two plants, really, grown on one. There's one main plant and a sucker. Let me pan you around 180 and show you what they look like when you don't do anything. I'm doing an experiment with, with these. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe, if you're still here, wow, you're one of the real ones. Um, eight minutes in. This tomato plant I grew last year exactly like the ones behind me, okay? It is an absolute thicket. There is tomatoes on it. Here, I'll show you. There's actually, there's actually three tomato plants here, but uh, it's just a giant wall of mess. And this is what they'll do if you leave them alone. Well, there's, there's tons of leaves on the ground here, just laying in dirt, getting dirty and picking up um, bacteria from the ground. Not great, I better back up. Gardening. So the okra and the lima beans are looking pretty good. Obviously these are two rows of squash that have pretty much grown into one giant hedgerow. So that's almost beyond help. And then back there, this solid wall is tomatoes that I have not kept either. So I've got to get in there with some scissors and absolutely gut it. So we'll see about that. I highly doubt that's going to happen. So. I'm gonna try rearrange, I'm gonna cut this off. It's 10 minutes long. I'm gonna rearrange my sprinkler, see if I can get the corn a little bit of water. Have a good one.